for Tadmundu. This is what the world is currently looking like from our kitchen window here in Motagua. There's quite a dramatic sky up there, lots of cloud. Story is desperate to get out into the garden to go and do some dig dig, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Dig dig. <laughs> <laughs> Poor daddy is not feeling his best today though, are you? No, if you see me hobbling around like a 90 year old, <laughs> it's because I've got a really bad back. I don't know what caused it either. Well. <laughs> well Sasha thinks it was the push-ups I did the other day without stretching. Yep. But I think there's more to it than that, I don't know. Could be a number of things. We had our Portuguese language lesson this morning and last night we had made plans to go for a hike to a waterfall which is nearby. But Jay woke up in real pain with his back and has spent pretty much all day laying in bed and trying to stretch out his back. I do think it is because he done quite a few push-ups the other night without stretching before or afterwards which he doesn't generally remember to do so I do think that is the cause of his backache. Hopefully that is all it is and there's nothing more to worry about there. We've just all had our lunch though and Story was desperate for some outside time and it's not raining so it's the perfect time to go out this afternoon into the garden. And look at what our Portuguese teacher brought us today. This was a real nice surprise. She brought us, actually there was four lemons but we had one with our salad for lunch already and four courgettes. They were actually grown in her parents' back gardens, so that was really nice. And I am planning on making a vegan quiche soon, and the recipe actually calls for courgettes in that, but I just need to find the gram flour, which we don't have yet. So once we've got that, I will use the courgettes to make something rather delicious. And look at what else we have got. We were gifted this from one of our patrons. We're very thankful for <laughs> our favourite fabric of coffee, which is the whole beans. So I'm going to grind some up now and take Jay out a nice coffee in the garden. I'm just hobbling down the stairs. Story is more than entertained. This is like Story's go-to activity if she's ever feeling like she wants to get outside. Just say the two words, dig dig, and she'll be happy for ages. This will keep you entertained, won't it Story? And look at that lovely lavender blooming behind you. It's looking really nice, isn't it? There's no bees today though. I just said there was no bees and I came over closer and there's tons of bees. Whoa. This bad back problem is really throwing me off today. I don't normally go to the doctor. I don't really have many medical problems that are this kind of crippling, like making me feel like I can't move properly. So being in this state today has really made me aware of how important how much more important my health is than pretty much most other things. Like I feel like I cannot get to Story fast enough if she's running away or you know if I need to lift her out of the bed I struggle. What have you found? Yeah, stay close to daddy though. Can I have the apple? Thank you. Oh yeah, it's got a hole in it hasn't it? Where the bugs have been eating it. Yeah, do you want to throw it away? Because it's dirty. Can't eat that one. Throw it away. Go on. Throw it away. Whee! <laughs> I've heard rumours that the blazing summer sunshine is going to be coming back tomorrow or the day after, which has been a little bit of a conversational piece between us and our friends in England. They've had such a good summer. And we've had it like this for so long now. I feel like there's going to be a switching point where Portugal gets really hot again and England returns to its normal self. It's not just here though, I've got friends that live in Thailand that are telling us that the weather patterns have changed there too. They're getting loads of flooding and they're getting dry spells when they shouldn't. It's weird. But whatever the weather story, you don't seem to care as long as you've got your dig dig, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Hey Story, I was just thinking, right now you're 19 months old, right? And this, just digging in the ground, brings you the most joy ever, right? When you're watching this back, when you're 18, you can remember that. <laughs> All you needed was a spade and a bit of gravel. What are you gonna want? Eh? What are you gonna need when you're 18 plus? Yeah, you're laughing. Who are you gonna be when you grow up? What's that sweet face gonna look like? And what about your hair? Are you gonna wear it long? Are you gonna have it short? 
There's so many choices. I've been looking forward to this. I hope it's all right. Why wouldn't it be? I haven't made one for a while. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best coffee in Portugal, by the way. Yeah, it's really good. It's got that, that sourness that I like from fresh coffee. <laughs> is that your pear face? <laughs> She's got a chocolate biscuit on her plate as well. A vegan chocolate biscuit. And she just basically moved it to the side so she could get her pear. Yeah. Is that a message to our story? <laughs> is that a delicious pear? <laughs> What's that screwed up face you're doing? <laughs> Num. Mm, it's a nice pair actually. You found your ball now. Go go kick it around. It has actually deflated quite a lot that ball. The stitches have come undone. This is what it's looking like over the garden wall today. Weather's improving a bit actually. I can feel some real warmth coming off that sun now. The butterflies have joined the bees now. They're so fast. We don't really get the colourful butterflies here. We just get these white ones, don't we Sash? Mm. They're still pretty though. <laughs> Look at that speed. Oh, you found a stick on the way. You can take that one with you. Go for it. <laughs> Look how mucky you are. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you've been doing dig the haven't you? You're all mucky. <laughs> look at her, look at her hands. Daddy. <laughs> this is the village over the other wall. Story really likes this hammock. She thinks it's a swing, doesn't she? Yeah. Swing, swing. Papa will be pleased. She bought you that in Porto Covo, didn't she? Papa. Yeah, Papa. Papa loves you. <laughs> Not poo poo. I was just looking up at this wall and I saw this shape here. At a quick glance, I thought it might have been a snake rolled up on itself, but it turns out it's just like a snail shell in there. Story, you found a snake now, haven't you? A big yellow friendly one. <laughs> you gonna go cuddle your snake? Now if we were playing the YouTubers game, we'd call this video Toddler Wrestle Snake in Garden! Unbelievable <laughs> footage! <laughs> yeah, you it's won't true. won't believe what you see! <laughs> there she goes, wrestling the incredible snake. Caught on camera! <laughs> <laughs> you enjoying your dry bath? <laughs> you made her jump a little bit then. <laughs> you didn't realise I was here? <laughs> you could fill this with like little balls, couldn't you? Mm. Little bamboo balls, that'd be nice. Oh, no, I just prefer them to those little plastic balls. I don't really like them. You like playing on those chairs, don't you? It's not a slide though. It's not really the right texture for it. You get stuck, don't you? Is that Aiden up there? Yes, it is. Come on, you silly dog. Why don't you enjoy being outdoors with us? Come on, the garden is your oyster. <laughs> We've been talking today and we've realised that it's actually been over two years now since we stopped eating meat and yeah. turned vegetarian and very recently in the last two weeks or so maybe more we made the decision to go full vegan. Yeah. Mostly been vegetarians this whole time. We have actually stopped eating pastries and we've stopped eating things with any form of milk powder or egg in them now so it's just something that feels right now and we were talking about it. <laughs> Story just fell off the chair. A wild child. <laughs> she just wants to slide up and down here. We were talking about it and we basically agreed between us that it took two years in total for us to feel the natural progression from going from meat eating to vegetarianism to being able to say, I'm comfortable not eating any animal products. Yeah. Actually, I feel a lot better not eating yeah. any at all. Quite a big transition, not so much from going from meat to veggie because we kind of just done that instantly and haven't ever looked back but going from veggie to vegan was a much longer transition. Yeah. 
I went, or we both went veggie three months into the pregnancy with Story, <laughs> who's currently, <laughs> I'm not quite sure what you're trying to do there, but <laughs> so going pretty much cold turkey, wasn't it, in Thailand, mm. going from meat eaters to veggie. Well, one thing I did notice is that going from meat eating to vegetarianism was much more widely accepted socially than yeah. going vegan. A lot of people have a problem with veganism, so <laughs> that was something that we had to learn over mm. time. But we've gotten used to it and we feel good about it now. So yeah. from now on out, you're probably not going to see us eating any pastries or any pastel de natas or <laughs> basically anything that isn't vegan. We're going to check the ingredients yeah. and it just feels right to do that now. Yeah, it will take a little bit like more of prepping on our part. Like if we do want to go out to a cafe for a coffee and we want a snack then we'll take a snack with us or eat before we go and that kind of thing just so you won't get tempted or, or we won't get hungry because oh, yeah. we don't desire the things that we see in places these days but it's just your only option so mm. I think it was a slow realization from to be full vegan because we got to a stage where we would be out and we'd be like do you want something in a cafe and we'd just look at it and go Nah. Like, yeah. Whereas before we might have just had something for the sake of it because if we're there and it's there, we didn't actually want it, but it's just something to do. <laughs> yeah. That kind of thought pattern. Whereas now we're like, no, I know how that makes me feel after I eat a whatever, a chocolate croissant or something. <laughs> Where have you gone? Eh? You went round the corner. We had to follow you, didn't we? <laughs> Here you are. I thought you were climbing up the stairs. I think it's pretty safe to say that Story's been on a over 90% plant-based diet her whole life, hasn't she? Yeah, well since five months that was when we switched her formula. Yeah, and she's had a few like pastries and stuff which have had milk powder in it, but she's never eaten any meat so far. No, she's never had any meat and the pastries that she has had is, is minimal. Like, it's minimal. It's a tiny little baby sized <laughs> True. portion and it was rare that we gave her that anyway so but yeah. i think from here on out because we've made the choice for ourselves story will be raised as a vegan toddler and yeah she's very healthy we're all very healthy at the moment apart from my broken back <laughs> <laughs> which isn't food related yeah <laughs> I'm interested to see where this food journey takes us because it progresses beyond food when you start thinking about veganism and not just a plant-based diet. It's the clothes that you wear, it's the things that you buy and your effects on the world by yeah. doing so, like the choices you make with your dollars and with your pounds and where yeah. you spend them. You really do start to think more about environmental factors and sustainability and mm. being more eco and fair trade and how people get <laughs> affected by the choices you make and the stuff that you buy i know that it sounds a little bit intense and that's why it does take such a long time i think mm. to go from one stage to the other and it's not for everybody but it is for us right now mm. and i'm quite happy with the journey we're taking it feels good it yeah. does it feels good in more yeah. ways than one and that main story we get to do lots of baking together yeah mm. Can bake lots of vegan muffins and all kinds of <laughs> rare treats that nobody's ever heard of <laughs> and you can be our taste tester how does that sound <laughs> that smile says it all story's afternoon snack <laughs> Tea, what she probably would eat all those blueberries wouldn't she oh good girl straight for the pear whoa <laughs> it's big isn't it that pear Is that nice? <laughs> We're going to keep the video short and simple today. This baby's going to need a bath. She's getting a bit wild, isn't she? <laughs> Covered in sand, wild hair. <laughs> Once she's finished eating that pear. Just what? That's yours. Oh, you're back. Oh, you're back.